Uh, we've got here barley that we've been growing in this controlled environment for feeding our cattle. Uh, this represents a growth now of probably about 12 days. Growth was actually grown 12 days ago. 150 kilos of grain will produce this full load of feed in the utility. Uh, we're feeding just over 100 head with a slot. Right. Talk about it a little bit. Well, that's the, the sort of growth we're getting. <laughs> that's the root system. There's probably more feed in the roots than there is in the actual top. More weight. Uh, <coughs> the idea is probably not to get it too wet if you can. But the cattle certainly enjoy it anyway, as, uh, as it is. So. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm from Glenby, out in the Central West. Uh, today we're just about to go and feed our cattle with our fodder that we have grown in our fodder system. We're actually feeding out about a ton uh, of, of feed from our fodder system and uh, we're feeding about 100 head of cattle uh, thereabouts. What we've found is the main advantage is that we've been able to consistently supply our markets as an ongoing market. Um, we haven't had to say no to our customers that we can't supply them. That's been the beauty of this system. And um, basically too, we've been able to hold our, our, our sustainability, I guess. It's, it's, I feel it's been a difference of whether we've actually been here. Um, it's quite viable and um, it's been a big advantage to us. I know of some people that have been forced off the land, but I do know, particularly locally, um, there have been, there are farmers now that are doing it quite tough. They haven't actually left their farm as such, but they've found that they've had to destock their place, they have to sell everything, and they're basically just hanging on. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a blessing in the drought for us, for sure. In the system, we put barley uh, in the system. That's what we're growing. It grows the shoots, uh, the, the cattle, the stock, even the sheep eat, eat it as well. And they're actually eating the shoots and the whole, the whole lot um, of it. And it's a ton of growth that we wouldn't necessarily have in a drought because there's nothing on the ground. So that's what we have. Mm. And they love it. <laughs> cash, well, cash flow on a farm is vital really, I think, to um, sustainability for, for us to live here, basically. We still have our normal bills to pay. We still have groceries. We still have children to go to school to educate. Um, I feel that cash flow is, is highly important. With the fodder system I've found through the drought, um, it has been, it's really been a blessing. And I feel that without it, I'm just not sure where we would actually be with our cash flow. Uh, basically, we um, we buy in from other organic certified properties, bring the uh, the livestock on to uh, to the property here, and um, depending on their condition, we'll we'll hold them here for uh, say three months to, to six months with some cattle, and uh, and then sell them into our markets in uh, Sydney, Brisbane, and Canberra. Basically, uh, we're sprouting the grain and, and growing it for for nine or ten days, and then um, feeding out lush green feed uh, to the cattle and, and um, to the sheep when they need it. Uh, it's, it doubles the protein content. So if, you've had, if you have barley at uh, say 10% protein, it'll come out at, at 19 or 20% when it's at the feed stage. You're also increasing your, um, your actual weight or feed from, from the grain, which is uh, <clears throat> say one kilo of grain will uh, comfortably give you eight kilos of, uh, of feed. C certainly, uh, if, if you have to buy in grain, which everybody uh, knows is a, is a big shortage of at the moment, you could be paying $500 a ton, $400 a ton, something like that. Um, and when you can produce eight times the feed of the grain, weight of the grain, then it's a huge saving. I'm, I'm a believer that we are experiencing climate change. I thought that in the future we're going to have more dry spells and uh, the fodder system's ideal for, for our business.